if there's one thing this game has taught me, it's that you can't question evolution, okay? Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> that being said, I am gonna question what happens next, because like, it's pretty clear that she's got a rockin' set of cannons already. I don't need to point that out, but what would happen if I also gave her guns? Like, where would they go? I'm almost afraid to ask, but <laughs> morbid curiosity sets in. All right. You know what? I, I don't need scientific consensus on evolution. What I need to know is can a sleep paralysis demon be hot? What's up guys, welcome back to Deer Simulator. That game that I've come to realize is growing harder and harder to explain to people. Because one minute you're being reincarnated as a completely normal, average, everyday deer, and the next you're defending Earth from a planet-sized thought. So like, we've experienced a whole lot in this game, but funny enough, we haven't seen everything yet. Because now there's DLC. I really shouldn't be surprised that to access this content, I can't just download it from Steam, or pick it out of a main menu, or headbutt it out of the withered cock of a strange man. I'm really sorry about that, Bob, or Mr. Builder, whatever you prefer to go by. No, instead, we have to board the SSDLC, which I've gotta say is a whole lot smaller than I had expected. And by the look of things, you get a lot of that yourself, don't you? I've suddenly got a bad feeling about this. Like, what if the crew were proportionate to the ship? There's a bunch of tiny little sailors singing and dancing on board. If they want to be called Oompa Loompa Seamen, I swear to God, I, I would sooner just drown. <laughs> Is that an option? Oh, I actually do need to install something. There's delicious irony in the fact that I have to legally download something to become a pirate. Well, don't I just look foolish? Like, the entire intro to this video is now redundant. I didn't have to make fun of this game or that guy's strange penis. I could have very easily just downloaded everything beforehand and questioned why there is a moonwalking giraffe on a conveyor belt. I see sushi. I see mystery boxes. Was that the thought that I picked a fight with last time? <laughs> All right, James Bond's golden gun. Interesting. Oh, here we go. I've got a strict press all buttons policy on this channel. Many of you guys know that already. So let's just go ahead and start off by... Uh... Oh, it just sped things up. Well, I don't know, like, it could have very easily transformed this entire ship into a Megazord or been the boat horn. There's really no telling with this game. We clearly have to see what's going on with this giraffe, right? Because there is something very wrong with him. He stands out among the others, and I'm not assuming his gender, all right? He's a Michael Jackson giraffe. Quite clearly, his pronouns would be he, he. Punching a human makes their neck extend? Excuse... Me? Oh, oh, no! <laughs> I should have socially distanced. I think I may have contracted something. Despite an Oompa Loompa splooge joke and a Michael Jackson pronouns joke, this game has still managed to somehow outrandom me in the opening minutes of this video. And apparently, if I beat people up, it'll make my neck longer? Unless one of you happens to be a knee surgeon, in which case I may spare you. I, I, I could really use some help. Or, you know, just a surgeon surgeon, a vet, anything like that. I think I just got hit so hard I devolved. Sorry about the interruption, Doc. I'm feeling better now, but uh, how about you? Oh, so it makes your neck longer? So what am I, like the natural Viagra of the animal kingdom? If that lasts for more than eight hours, then you should talk to yourself. I'm genuinely terrified to see what happens when I run. Because this isn't running, this is just galloping. This is running. <laughs> oh no, that, that can't be good for your spine. You can tell this guy has seen some shit, okay? He remembers when The Last of Us was a good game. He remembers when Toys R Us went under. He was there for all of it. 
Well, I've heard a whole lot of talk about the long arm of the law, but never the long neck of the law. <laughs> Who's to say that a random zoo animal can't come along and decide to arm themselves to cause a, a little bit of domestic terror? Oh yeah, that is definitely terrifying. <laughs> No, fortunately, I can't shoot while running, which is a good thing for everybody. I have no idea where the bullets would go, but I'm sure some of them would end up inside of me. If I stop, however, then... Yeah. All right. So it's very much like being a deer, you know, whether you be woodland critter or zoo animal. The police hates us all the same. All right, fine. Bring it on, Jello Sheep. Batman says we don't need to be afraid of farm animals like you. Everything dies. I'm not gonna go through every single police stage as the giraffe, but uh, always feels good smacking around those idiots. So we've done a whole lot with the poorly secured police officer guns in this game, but never anything with the golden gun. Hitting a human makes their face grow bigger. Is that what that just said? What? <laughs> For whatever reason, this lady's always Blair Witching in the corner, so I don't think she's gonna mind too much if I pound her biscuits into making a very long neck. <laughs> a little something like that, there we go. And then we can use the golden gun to, ooh. Okay, yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that definitely has an effect. Is she gonna pop? Can I take this too far? No, we're good. If anything, I think this is an improvement. Now she can kind of see the world. Oh, that's not an improvement. <laughs> Ow, no, come on. Lady, take it from a deer who keeps turning into a giraffe. You don't want a medical professional. You want an exorcist. So the giraffe may have the evolutionary advantage of a rubber spine, but the deer has the advantage of socializing. We should be able to indoctrinate you if I... Hi. Oh. No, that was just a, a welcome. Usually cults don't have meet and greets. I meant to deerify. Did it work? Oh, yes. <laughs> and now you'll follow me? One of many, giving me this kind of power was a mistake. I'd like to see the police try to pick a fight with the Fathead Gang. We're just gonna run through this city. I'm pretty sure if I snake between the buildings, they'll just run through them. Yep, yeah, okay, so um, the police will in fact pick a fight with us. Wait, what happens if I shoot the Jello sheep with the head gun? I guess there's only one way of finding out. Uh, my loyal subjects, could you could you maybe let me see? I, I can't see particularly well. Oh, okay, doesn't take any damage. Yeah, they, they don't have heads. We can run them over though. Okay, yeah, let's just do that. Can you imagine your commute to work and this is what you see? The cops of the city have been defeated. The fat head gang rules. Excuse me, Mr. Godzilla Koala, you're kind of a zoo animal, right? Would you like to join the Fathead Gang? I'll take that as a no. Oh, yeah, that's a no. And you're gonna hope for the best. I should have told him we have Kool-Aid and cookies. I really wanna figure out how to open all these mystery boxes. Like there has to be some kind of quest or challenge to pull it off. And speaking of boxes, lady, could you maybe close yours? We may be at sea, but that doesn't excuse the smell. Taking damage causes insta-death? Oh. Oh, no, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. If there's one thing this game has taught me, it's that you can't question evolution, okay? Everything happens for a reason. That being said, I am gonna question what happens next, because like, it's pretty clear that she's got a rockin' set of cannons already. I don't need to point that out. But what would happen if I also gave her guns? Like, where would they go? I'm almost afraid to ask, but <laughs> morbid curiosity sets in. All right. You know what? I, I don't need scientific consensus on evolution. What I need to know is can a sleep paralysis demon be hot? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. So she runs normally, or uh, about as normal as a, a thought in high heels pulling a Jesus with AK's trapped or ears can run, but she walks like this. And I think she's a, 
about seven feet tall, but it's really hard to tell because she emits so much big mommy energy that uh, people are just naturally repelled. Well, I'd feel pretty irresponsible if I didn't have her fight something, so I'm sure we will be able to get the attention of the polar bear police. Okay, do you guys have any advice on staying warm without clothes? I'm just asking for a friend, wherever you guys are. Oh, they're right in front of me. They actually blend in quite a bit. You wouldn't think that a polar bear transforming into a police car would, but uh, I didn't see him there. Guys, come on, like, I'm literally bending over backwards to try to come to a peaceful resolution. Can we maybe talk this out? Just like, uh, maybe write me a ticket for the streaking and leave the whole arson and murder thing out of this. God, I can't stop looking at my grotesque body. Well, I can tell you right now, we're gonna be doing a whole lot more stuff as her in the future, because that's just hilarious. Like, I kinda wanna see what would happen if I beat the game as a thought. Like, would it replace the deer in the cutscenes? If that's the kind of thing that you guys are interested in seeing, or, or if you wanna see any of this DLC stuff, then leave a like on the video. But for now, I wanted to return and kind of wombo combo both the giraffe and the big head gun with a very uniquely headed individual who is like, just up here, okay, for a second there, I thought I was gonna have trouble crossing the road. Come on, I'm a giraffe deer, not a chicken. Y'all are gonna act like it's easy to look both ways before you cross the street with this neck. <laughs> My head is so difficult to catch, it's like a fart in the wind. Hello there, I wanna see if I can make your head even bigger. Could you maybe up the size of that TV? No? Oh, come on now, uh, well, what if I, oh, where are you going? I'm putting the gun down, but I gotta beat the sense into you. <laughs> come on, I wanna see if we can make that neck a little bit longer. Oh, maybe, hold on, where, where are you going? Stop running. I'll put you down when you agree to stop being an idiot. You'd stop showing the anime girl and the NFTs, nobody is interested. Okay, get up. Now, I would just wanna smack you a little bit and make your neck bigger. It's not working. I think I'm just massaging his butt cheeks. <laughs> that was not the goal here. And I also killed him. Okay, yeah, you know what? For the first time, I actually feel like the police should be called on me. <laughs> this is a completely reasonable response. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna kill you, stupid idiots, though. It just dawned on me, am I safe up here? Not only because the Jello sheep can't jump, but because I, I don't think they have jurisdiction. These are international waters. I mean, I may even be able to blend in as one of them. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm a polar bear. I was kind of hoping to be the car, but... Uh, oh, I can transform! And then I can run you guys over. Is it technically roadkill on the ocean? Oh, God. <laughs> well, then. Um, I... I, I got nothing. I got absolutely nothing to say about that. This game is just something else. Oh my god, being a car against animals is so overpowered. Apparently, I can't take damage while in car form, and I don't ever have to transform back because I can deal damage, so I'm practically invincible. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. So the real question is, how ridiculous are we talking? Like, how invincible is invincible? If I piss you off and then transform, bring it. Huh. Okay, yeah, we are just straight up not taking damage, which means I can then juke underneath you, fire some shots. I would need to keep juking and, and firing, but no, he just blasted me. Is this what it feels like to be a Digimon? They're always evolving and then devolving when they lose or win. It feels like all I do is lose. So if a deer can give people antlers, and a giraffe can give people a long neck, and a thought can give people a, a good time by the hour, then what do you think a tiger does? Other than turn people into poop. Become a tiger? Yeah, that's kind of what I was hoping for, but what exactly does he do? Uh, ooh. Uh, okay, I knew cats have really good balance, but this is pushing it. Are you afraid of the water? <laughs> Please tell me you're not the only creature that can't walk on water. Well, the good news is I managed to find my way off the boat. <laughs> but the bad news is I'm kind of torn between whether or not I should be sponsored by Kellogg's or by steroids. <laughs> this dude is jacked. His pecs are great. Hello there, VR cows. 
Could I maybe have some virtual milk? Both my muscles and my cereal require it. <laughs> Come on, now you're coming with me. <laughs> God damn, I haven't seen milkers that big since we faced the final boss. <gasps> we may need to dream higher. I could probably arm myself and then go after your delicious moo moo milk. Okay, we gotta hurry it up. It's getting dark. I don't want this thing to jump over the moon, but we still need to be really precise with our shots. You don't want to just damage it, because that's how you get milk with pulp. <laughs> Try our best to just... Ooh. Okay. Is that gonna give me chocolate milk? Because uh, I'm on board for that. <laughs> Hello? Is it dead? Oh. Is it... Timber! What a <laughs> I love his face. Never mind. A little bit of unnecessary panic there. I thought this thing was gonna hit the water and we were gonna have a tsunami, but uh, nope, it's taking its sweet ass time. Are, are you good? Are you, hello? <laughs> Do you think I can grab it? I'm gonna try to grab it. Just, just grab her by the ear. Come on, Bessie, you know you wanna come with me. Come on. No, damn it. <laughs> this isn't working. We don't wanna be inside the giant. Cow? Or do we? What the hell? I was told they had multiple stomachs, but they don't have any. Oh my god, look at me. I'm so majestic. Fingers crossed this thing sleeps. Oh my god, I'm so tired of cars hitting the animal out of me. <laughs> Fine, we'll do it as a deer. I just want to see if I can kill you without getting blown up. Get out of the way, you idiot. If we keep running and then stopping to far, we can't run, we can't stop, there is no stopping. I don't get it. How did I kill this thing before? Is there an easy way? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I think we just need to continuously run and then do a little bit of damage, not get greedy. Just run, 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 little bit, run, 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 run. And there you have it, another kaiju taken care of. Maybe. Is it dead or is it crying? One way or another, I'm just gonna shoot it a little bit more. Oh, I'm shooting the building behind it. Okay, we're good. We're not good. I'm roadkill again. You're welcome, city. All right, you know what I think? That's gonna be it for this episode of Deer Simulator, guys. It looks like I actually opened one of the mystery boxes by pissing off the koala. What it does, I have no idea. There's a whole bunch more stuff for this DLC that I want to check out. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to be a heavily armored, lowly clothed thought again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.